Welcome back to the Guaylao HD channel. You see all of these bikes along the roadside? All of these people are here at the wet market looking for food for the day. Uh, Chinese don't buy food like we buy food. Um, they, uh, they buy every day because they want it as fresh as possible. There might be some that uh, take stuff home and freeze the meat and whatever. But uh, from my experience with Wei Fong and her family, that's not the norm. Anyway, that's not really what this video is about. Uh, I figured I'd, I'd go through the wet market here today, one of the wet markets here in Nanning, and uh, talk about the cost of living and how much it actually costs to live here in Nanning, China. You know, one of, one of the first things that I notice every time I come here is um, when I go for breakfast, it's a buck or two, you know, Canadian. So you're, you're, if you're buying baozi and, and dojiang, uh, which is soya milk, uh, you're, you're probably going to be spending anywhere, anywhere from five to seven RMB for breakfast. If you get into the soups, you're, you're going to go 10 to 15 RMB, 10, 12 RMB, not as high as 15. So you're looking at two bucks Canadian. And uh, you can get into doing the, the dumplings and uh, then you're looking at 15 RMB for a uh, good breakfast and uh, that's three bucks Canadian or less than three bucks Canadian. Then you can get into the dim sum and you can spend, with two people, you can spend uh, 50, 60, 70 RMB. So, you know, you can go to 10, 12 bucks or, or say five, six bucks per person for dim sum in the morning. That covers your all your dim sum and your tea and, and whatever. And you're sitting in not a bad restaurant. But one of the other things that I noticed coming to the wet market, the variety is so like so wide and the prices are so cheap because each one of these individual stalls is owned by the person that's that's working hello that's working in the stall so uh, there's competition here it's not like a superstore it's not like a Walmart uh, each 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 individual store owner has to compete with the person next door so if you're trying to sell say your pig ears for more than the guy next to you then uh, you won't be selling your pig ears today. You know what I mean? Or or your or your pig feet. If you're selling your your pig feet more than the guy next to you, then you're not going to be selling your pig feet. Or your or your innards. Yes, those are innards. Uh, but you see, j just the variety of uh, of just fish, for instance. And it's all for, see, I notice it more probably because I just came from Canada just under three months ago where everything is super, super expensive. Oh, it gets a little bit loud in here, so I gotta talk a little bit louder. But uh, it gets super, super expensive there for buying just about anything. Uh, even a bag of rice is expensive in, in Canada. And then you get into a place like, like China where everything is very inexpensive it's uh, you know from your your chickens and your and your ducks and if you try to sell your chickens and your ducks for more than the person next to you then you're not going to be selling your chickens and your ducks hello or or your rabbits if you're trying to sell your rabbits uh, more expensive than the next person they're not going to be selling your rabbits you know what i mean and just the sheer number of people this is getting close to, to noon uh, the peak time at a wet market is usually between 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning. That's when the droves of people come. Uh, especially in the summertime, it gets, it gets a little bit earlier because it gets super hot here in the summertime. But uh, there, there's, there's more to living in China and cost in China than, than just the food. But I figured the wet market is right here, so uh, I use it, as, use it as a background because a, a lot of people have never experienced the wet market in China, so uh, just follow along. Uh, if you want to rent an apartment, and that, it all depends on what city you're in, but if you want to rent an apartment, for instance, uh, in, in Nanning, 
anywhere from a thousand to say twenty five hundred, depending on if it's in the middle of the city, uh, if it's a, a newer building, uh, the amenities that come along with it. Is it furnished or unfurnished? But uh, if you're if you're getting a, a furnished apartment, you're you're probably going to be spending, I don't know. 1500 RMB on an average in, in Nanning. And that'll get you not a bad digs. Look at, this, look at the fruit, guys. Hey, hey. 10 RMB for one jing, which is uh, when you when you when you see uh, the four or five RMB or the 10 RMB, that's per jing. Uh, jing is 500 grams, so it's half of a kilogram. And, and, it, and, and this stuff just goes on and on and on, and you, you can uh, be and see by the variety and the cost. Like these uh, these Asian pear, uh, 3.5 RMB per jing. So that's uh, 65, 70 cents per per uh, 500 grams. In uh, Canada, you'd be paying four bucks a pound. You know, so you'd be paying uh, 20. 20 RMB per per jing, or actually per pound, but uh, jing is, is uh, about 46 grams bigger than, than a pound. Maybe you can buy them carrots to potatoes. Anyway, uh, your transportation, you, you, uh, you want to go downtown and get a cup of coffee at McDonald's. Well, you take the, the subway downtown, it's 2 RMB, so less than 40 cents. You, uh, you get a, a cup of uh, coffee at, at McDonald's, it's 9 RMB. So under $2 for a cup of coffee, but it's, as, as anywhere else in the world, McDonald's can, uh, uh, you can get as many refills as you want. And here, you can t say, well, your coffee's old, could you make new coffee? And they'll do it without, without question. You go to Burger King, you get a, a Whopper with one patty. 27 RMB, so five dollars. Uh, you uh, you go to, you go to a restaurant <coughs> for 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 supper. Like I go to the Yongjiang Hotel on a regular basis. It's about a hundred RMB for all you can eat and all you can drink. Yes, and they have wine there, so I, I really like that. Uh, their beer is not that good, but the wine is is, is amazing. And it's Brazilian barbecue. It's uh, you've got salads, you've got a barbecue duck, you've got uh, sushi, you've got pork, beef, chicken, you name it. And for 108 RMB, we went to a, a Korean barbecue hot pot place last night, and it was 79 RMB, and uh, that's all you can eat and all you can drink for a couple hours. And a couple hours is enough because they've got baijiu, they've got wine, they've got beer, they've got soda pop, they've got uh, meats and, and uh, live shrimp and, and crawdads and you, you name it. They've got everything at these places and that's 79 RMB, so say 80 RMB. So, so you're looking at, what, 16 bucks for uh, all, you, all you can eat, buffet. You got to cook the food yourself, but hey, hello. hello. Selling, selling their meats, eh? But you, you can see where uh, a Canadian or an American, if you're if you're on a, a pension or whatever, you can come and you can live in a place like this, and you can do it fairly cheaply, just just for the fact that everything is so inexpensive, um, because there's competition. Yes, you don't have those big corporate conglomerates that uh, that just hose the living bejesus out of you and say, well, it's not our fault. It's it's it's, uh, and then you look at their corporate profits and uh, you have to wonder whose fault it is. You know what I mean? Let's go down in through here. Gives you gives you a little bit more of an idea of uh, the the variety of everything. I, I don't like uh, kugwa. It's a uh, bitter 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 melon. They're they're not good. But uh, you got the all of the fresh fruit and vegetables that uh, you could ever want. And. Uh, the people here are kind and courteous. It's, it's not a dangerous place in the world, for sure. Uh, you take a, a, a taxi or a Didi, what we, what we call Didi, across an entire city, and it might cost you 30 RMB. Um, I actually came home one morning 
and it took an hour and a bit in uh, in a Didi, and it cost me 32 RMB. So it cost me six bucks to get across a city of just about nine million people. You know, you want to fly from uh, from Nanning to uh, say Metro Manila. When you get deals, you can get deals where it's $105 one way. Yeah, I, I know, it's it's like, that's just it, over here. Like, I can fly from here to Shanghai for 100, 150 bucks, $125. Uh, you know, so it, it's just so inexpensive to live in a place like this. These are all pickled goods. You like that stuff, guys? Then the hot peppers, oh baby, and and they are, they're super hot. But you, you, can, you can see that you go out for breakfast, it's two bucks. You go out to, for, for lunch, it's maybe three bucks. You go out for supper, you can spend 15, 20 dollars, depending on where you go, or you can eat cheap too, or you can eat more expensive. I've gone to places where I spent 500 RMB for, for an evening uh, with a couple of people, but, but uh, it all depends on what your budget is, type thing, eh? Let's go down where the where the the live fish are, and uh, so you can go out. And so you know your your whole day can be twenty bucks worth of food, and your rent is if you get it for fifteen hundred, you're say, paying fifty RMB, so ten dollars a day for for rent. You know, so so you're up to you're up to thirty bucks a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As uh, they say, you uh, buy 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 some of our park. <laughs> no, I'm not here shopping today. I'm uh, I'm I'm going out for supper again tonight, just like I did last night and the night before type thing. The floor is is see, and this is why they call this the, the wet market is because of uh, the the fish tanks and whatever. This is where it where it got its name. And you can buy just about any type of fish you want here. They actually have sturgeon here. The the sturgeon that are uh, protected in Canada, they uh, basically... This is why I'm stopping. I don't want to get wet. But you, but you can you can basically buy sturgeon here for for next to nothing because I farm them type thing, eh? But just, just just look at the look at the variety of the fish, and then you you buy a fish. It's like four bucks or three three dollars and fifty cents to four dollars for for a fish. So it's 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 inexpensive. You want to go and you want to eat out in uh, McDonald's or KFC or any place like that. It's comparable to the the cost of the West. Those are some of the most expensive places to eat in in China, which uh, I'm not I'm not sure why anybody would go eat that crap to begin with. You know, every once in a while I like to go for a Whopper at Burger King, but maybe once or twice in a month, maybe once a month type thing, eh? But uh, other than that, you know, what what else is there? Your transportation, your food, your housing, um, you can, uh, and your, and your, uh, your, your, touring to different countries from, from, from Nanning. So it's pretty inexpensive to live in a place like this. Do you want to go get like more expensive food with the less quality? Go to Walmart. Find find. Uh, well, I found the Sam's Club. Uh, I'm actually going to be uh, spending some extra money over there just for the idea that they got them steaks. You know what I mean? So uh, you know. So it all depends on what your budget is, how much you want to spend, where you shop, and uh, and basically that's that. Some of you older folk might be saying, well, what about going to the doctor? Well, last time I checked, uh, depending on the doctor, it can be anywhere between 3 RMB and 20 RMB to see a doctor, whether they're just a, a GP or a specialist. Most I've ever paid is 20 RMB to go see a doctor. Maybe you need prescriptions or whatever. The prescriptions, I buy all my prescriptions here in, well, you don't even need a prescription for most of this stuff. I buy my uh, uh, cholesterol pills and stomach pills and uh, uh, I've got uh, uh, high blood pressure, not that I'm from drinking beer, but so I take a high blood pressure pill and uh, they're two bucks a month type thing. So it, it's, it's not even worth mentioning. Unless you get some catastrophic health problem. Uh, 
you're, you're not going to be spending a lot of money on on uh, on doctors and and hospitals and stuff like that. Um, Anthony, what did he say? I can't remember. He got his knees done, and I think he said it was like thirty grand a knee or something like that. Uh, RMB. So, yeah, it's it's like it, it's not even worth mentioning. You buy a bottle of brandy for uh, four bucks Canadian. You're still spending uh, anywhere between five and and uh, ten RMB for a beer, depending on where it comes from. You know, Wusu beer is eight or nine. You get Heineken is ten. You get uh, Li Chen is five or five point five RMB. So a buck to two bucks per tall boy beer, and uh, and it that hasn't changed since two thousand th since two thousand and three. Don't want to get run over. Since 2003, that hasn't changed. So, the inflation hasn't hit China like it's hit the rest of the world. And uh, it makes it so much easier to live in a place like this. Anyway, that's another video from Gui Lao Sixty. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe, hit the bell, and you know the score. Until next time, peace out. Bye now.